Marmite Gun Alert. This is a Beretta Gold Pigeon 687 EL. This part is not Marmite. This is an interchangeable Beretta pad system. You have a lacquer finished grade three stock. Um, you see a variety of different stock qualities on Berettas, but one thing is for sure is they are damn tough. So perhaps foregoing a little bit of grain featuring for that is nice. It has a gold oval. It has hand checkering. That's actually quite nice on this particular gun as a treat. And this is where it starts to get marmitey. It, it's not a double E double L, and I think that's that's the, the, the real issue here. So what they've gone for instead is, well, what they went for instead with these side plates, instead of fine Rosen scroll or a fine Acanthus or Game Scene or any of the stuff that they put on any of the models, is a deep carved relief. On one plate, you have partridges, and on the other plate, we have some woodcock. And I'm sure you can see by the way the light's touching it, it, it is deep carved, like you can feel that it is very, it, well, all right, let's say it, 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 I am on the side of this Marmite argument that does not like it. Sash likes it and lots of other people like it. For me, this is not particularly my style. I am not a fan even of the best quality deep carved reliefs. I can admire them, but I do not like them. So a cheap version was clearly never gonna grab my heart. But what I suppose it is, is a very achievable and affordable version of the better quality version for people who do like that style. My real issue here is that they put this funny coating on it and they perhaps didn't put quite enough detail onto it. And as such, A, it usually contrasts with the action, but not only that, you lose a lot of the detail with with the coating and the protective finish they put on it, but at least it won't sort of rust like other sort of double EWLs can do if you don't look after them properly. It just looks fake. And I am aware that a lot of engraving on these guns is fake by essence, it's not hand done. But I don't know, I guess it's just not my style. I think that's the bottom line of it. However, I know lots of people who absolutely adore it and I can see why. It looks a million bucks, if you like a deep relief style engraving, as simple as that. What I would love to see, and if anyone ever has the time, money and inclination to do it, would be to drop this off to an engraver and have them kind of finish it off, add a little bit of shave, shading in and see what could, could be done uh, with a day's work and a couple of gravers just to sort of knock it up and make it look more real. That and um, acid washing it perhaps to try and remove the finish. However, that would probably end terribly, so you need to be in a position to want to lose those plates and have to buy new ones. So one day, maybe, when I find a scrap one, I'll actually go ahead and do that. Apart from that, on the actual action away from the side plates, you have the same acanthus scrolls around your trunnions, and you have P. Beretta, and you have actually a very pleasant bordering here. It is a nicely put together gun for what it is, and the 687EL Gold Pigeon 2. It's a good quality gun, and inside it's just a 687. However, this particular one is mildly special based on, sorry, Tank, it's almost the end of the day and he is desperate to go out for, well, home. I think more importantly to go play in the garden. Is a double trigger. So, Berettas are compatible with a double trigger system with no issues whatsoever. And actually, I think it's always quite a cool feature, although generally speaking, we always convert them back to single, when people buy them like this, it's a really cool feature when you see one with a double trigger because, well, it sorts out the issues of changeover that you'll never have and you always have reliability. Plus, and I think you'll agree with me on this, the safety catch, the non-selective safety catch is a much more beautiful thing than a selective safety catch. It's streamlined, it looks cool, it's a much nicer thing. Apart from this, this is just a common garden Beretta 20 bore. Internally, mechanically, but there you have it. That is a Beretta 687 Gold Pigeon 2. A proper Marmite gun from Beretta. They don't make many. In fact, I think, well, they actually they made a, they've made a few, but not many in the grand scheme of things. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this gun because as much as I say I don't like it, 
I, I like it enough. I just don't like it enough that I would own one, I suppose. I, I admire it. It's been brilliant. Take care, stay safe, stay indoors, and we'll see you next time.